So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can create a PDF on Outgrow or how you can integrate the option to actually save the results and the questions as a PDF on Outgrow. Uh, but first, before I get to that, I'm going to explain to you what Outgrow does. Uh, Outgrow enables marketers to create interactive content like calculators, quizzes, recommendations, forms, surveys, chatbots, polls, contests and assessments. Now these high converting and personalized uh, and viral experiences add real value to the customer, enable new levels of engagement and generate helpful data that you can use to qualify and segment leads. So once you're on your on the Outgrow website, you can just check out the eight different types of content that you can make. And in most cases, you can also combine one content type with another, and then you can have a complicated and complex and multifunctional widget that will address a lot of your customers' needs quite easily. So if you want to know what you want to build, for instance, you can start by going to templates and then you can search by industry. And in that, you'd be able to see uh, a lot of uh, examples particular to your industry. All the industries are listed here and there's some examples that are listed here. And if you want to search anything by the keyword, you can do it here as well. Uh, and once you have checked one out, you can just click on preview and it will show you the particular experience. You can just, and if you like it, then you can click on build your own and that would take you to the dashboard automatically. Now I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go directly to the dashboard and I'm going to show you one particular example uh, where you can enable the save as PDF function. Uh, so in, for instance, when you are using Outgrow for a conference or event that you're organizing and you want people to uh, register for this event. So this is a widget that helps people do that. So, you know, it asks for their name, uh, their email, their industry, and then particular questions, company size, what kind of pass they want to buy, uh, whether they want particular accommodation, their meal preferences. Now, when people answer all of this, uh, so that they usually uh, forget how they answered it. So it's always nice to have in the options, in the result options, it's always nice to have a little uh, button that allows them to download everything that they've answered so that they have a copy of how they answered it. So currently it's been set to redirect people to a particular uh, URL, this button, but you can also set it to save as PDF. And then you can just, uh, the, the, you can just type here saying, uh, save your results, you know, uh, save your results for later, or, you know, download your results for later, or like, you know, uh, save a copy of your results of your answers so you can do that so you can just add any kind of text that you want uh, currently I'm just gonna put it to what it was earlier uh, but this is the uh, way you can enable the save as PDF uh, option and then out here in this little subtext you'll see how you can configure the PDF that is saved so if you click on this little configure hyperlink it will take you to the configure tab directly to the saved results as PDF uh, section. And here you can add everything that you want to uh, have people, uh, enable people to be able to save. So for instance, the answer to question one, the answer to question two, uh, and so on and so forth, all the question types, and then UTM source, medium campaign term content, all of this can be saved. And I'm just like showing the variables here, but what you can also do is of course, uh, add text. So you can say your answer to Q1 uh, to the first question was this. Or you can frame this whole thing as a very readable email. So, you know, you can say hi, hi. And then if you ask them for their name in the uh, lead details, then it will, uh, so it's for instance, here's please enter your name. So you can say hi Q1. So that will automatically just show their name and then uh, is it, then you can add a particular paragraph in a conversational way with these variables is what I'm trying to say. So you can make something sensible out of these. So that's what you can do with the, the configure PDF details. You can also in, insert images, you can change the colors, and you can also add a table if you want. So it's all up to you. And you can you also have the option of a code view. So if you want to like really customize it, you can uh, click on code view and do that yourself. And if you need any help with that, you can always email questions at outgrow.co and someone from our team would be very happy to help you out. And once you've done all of this and you just need to click on publish, 
and once your uh, content piece is live people will be able to then take it uh, I'm just going to open it live they, they start like here they'll enter details and as they go along uh, they'll be able to answer all these questions and you know and all of this and then when they get to the results page uh, they'd just be able to download it I've, I didn't change the button text in the end but you know this would automatically initiate a downloading uh, function and it would save as a PDF and they'd be able to then uh, access this PDF from their computers and that's in short how you can uh, enable the save as PDF function in Outgrow and if you have any questions regarding this feel free uh, to email questions at outgrow.co thank you